Hey, I'm Kev Kev, Mr. Kev, welcome to Formula Truck 2013 as we're about to begin a 10 lap race with a rolling start around the Salvador Street Circuit in Brazil as we approach the final chicane. Now, not much room for too wide in these trucks where we just about make it for as we drift across the line in 10th place against 25 AI opponents set to 95% AI strength, 25% AI aggression and 3% damage multiplier. So we've just got to take a position per lap to win this thing around this tight and tristy street circuit. This should be easy just like that move actually on AI into the second corner clipping that apex on the left oh got to be careful the wall on the right though we kind of clipped it there you'll see AI do that a bit this race as well as so now we've got to run into the first hairpin look how heavy this braking zone is about 150 meters before we break and look at that down the inside of the AI I kind of admit I did upbreak myself a bit there but now we've got the line on the AI into the next chicane so if we can keep this up we can make another position up on this First up, as we break around 100 meters before, we can take some speed into the left hand apex here, but we've got to break a bit in the middle because look how tight this right hand apex is here. As we've got to look out for the wall on the left, get on the power smoothly as we carry it into this long right hand as we're drifting round it as I was turning in when I went changed up again. So, yeah, it's not the best thing to do, but it looks pretty good on video, doesn't it? And as we now get a run into the final hairpin now breaking around the 200 meters before it's a bit too far back from the AI to make a move but we've got to use all of the lock to get around that this hairpin is even tighter than the first one and as tight as the hairpin at Monaco or Po or Long Beach you know you've got to use everything to get around it and now into the final chicane which you've already seen just got to clip the curbs here don't take too much curb though as you could go on the inside then go over those rumble strips which is a bit annoying as now we go into the first corner of the second lap got to lift slightly and you've got to get on the power early otherwise you're just drifting wide which is quite easy to do in the high speed corners with no downforce on these trucks and it's especially easy into that tricky right hand and the most difficult and fun corner I, I believe on this so because if you carry too much speed into it you're just going to be under steering wide and lose time down that straight to that final hairpin you won't get a run on the AI like we have into this first hairpin and they get diving down the inside again I don't think we outbreaked ourselves that time but this is a bit of a deja vu have I kept this video on the loop is it on I do apologize for that but it looks like we have some deja vu from the first episode we're trying to go down the inside of the AI into this chicane and it looks like we have done it up to seventh place and we can see sixth fifth fourth third Second, I believe. I think first has actually got away a bit there, so we might not win this thing as it could be tricky making passing moves around here, unlike this first couple of laps. But look at that, we're almost losing the truck again through this right hand. As you know, you've got to be really careful getting the power on around that corner. As as I said, if you get it on, you know, too too much speed into that corner, you're just under steering wide and you lose so much time going down into this final hairpin. But if you you know let off early and then you've just got the judge on when to put the power down and again you don't want to put the power down on too early because you have to get off it just under steer ride and you know you cost yourself time so you've got to really judge it perfectly and that's you know a great challenge in these trucks around this circuit and this is just a fun circuit in these trucks as this was a circuit had it in the recent 1.25 update to this game which happened just over a week ago now this was the new content for the game this Salvador street circuit in Brazil the third most populated city in Brazil I believe Salvador behind Sao Paulo and Rio de, de Janeiro and they have a street circuit which the stock cars in Brazil race round so you might have seen this track already in game stock car extreme it's great fun in that game of course the open rear is especially but also of the stock cars and the minis and the old Opada stock car but it's I believe it's most fun in these trucks though. It's, it's a bit like putting a you know, it's a bit like having a caged animal putting these trucks round here has it's a, such a tight circuit as you can see. Not much room for too wide round here and these trucks are beasts, you know, they weigh over four thousand kilograms, however over a thousand horsepower each and you know that's fantastic torque, fantastic power to weight ratio and you're really struggling to keep these cut these trucks, you know, going forward in a straight line most of the time and that's and that's what I love about this circuit you have to be aggressive you know as well attacking the curbs and attacking the AI there as I just did there and look at that we're fighting for a top five now it looks like and yeah that's what I love that's why I love putting this truck around this circuit because it just shouldn't be really really be here and that's kind of the allure of say F1 round Monaco or used to be you know F1 shouldn't have been racing around Monaco it's so tight and tristy why would you do that it's madness but 
It's fantastic to see F1 cars go around Monaco, just like it's fantastic seeing these trucks go around this Salvador street circuit. And as I said, this this circuit was added in the recent version 1.25 update to Formula Truck 2013 on Steam. And that update, you know, it only added this track, but it fixed a couple of things, added a couple of things as well, and just adjusted a couple of things. And it added that you could set your starting position for races, so I didn't actually have to qualify for this race. I just set it to 10th and then clicked race, and look at it, it works. And it's something that's also been in GameStop.com Extreme for a while, even though it, I believe it doesn't work at Argentina still. I, I, I set the starting position, but it never works, so maybe they have fixed it in the last patch. I haven't tried Argentina since the last patch, but yeah, it's it works fine in this game, no. and. You also got to be careful with adjusting a couple of things after the update as well. For some reason, the FOV was set to 34 after the update in the game. So I had to set that back up to 50, the default setting in the settings in the game. And that's what you're seeing on screen now. And as you can see, I, I can see a bit more out of the out of the cab now. And also, if, you're, if you record it or play the game on like higher settings, I don't. I record on, say, medium settings to keep the frame rate up. And... As you can see, it seems to be okay. Yeah, yeah, it's not the best, you know, look, but it seems to be okay enough for recording. But yeah, if you do play at those higher settings, you've got to be careful. Say shadow flickering, and you know, got, got to adjust settings in in your in your computer to make sure you know it runs smoothly as well. So yeah, version 1.25 update is another little step forward for Formula Truck 20. 13 and that's what's been happening since this game went on steam and I remember my, the only other video I've shown actually of Formula Truck 2013 was I bought the game just before it came on steam and I showed you the trucks around the Rio Oval and that's where I had the AI aggression set to 50% and it was a bit too much for the oval there so imagine if I kept it at 50% the default I normally have the aggression set for AI round here we have a pile up in the first corner and and yeah, that I would have been I spent I would have been spending all night trying to record this with lots of red flags everywhere, and yeah, that's why I turned down the AI aggression down to 25% for this. And the AI seem to be better on the low aggression as well in these trucks, so maybe I'll just keep it at that as the default setting from now on. And that's probably why the trucks don't race around this circuit in real life, or never raced around this circuit in real life, I believe, as you know, they probably would just be piled up everywhere in the race in there. But but yeah, these. Well, this game, as I said, when I showed it, when it came on Steam, before then it hadn't had, had many updates in a year previous, you know, it was kind of overshadowed by GameStop Cart Stream, and that's kind of the other reason I wanted to show this game, not just talk about the version 1.25 update, but talk about this game, because it has been overshadowed by GameStop Cart Stream, Reese's other title and their premium title, it's just a shame you couldn't, you know, crowbar this title into GameStop Extreme and just have it in one massive place like a like a hub like in Race Room Racing Experience for Sector 3 where you have all this fantastic content in just one place it's a shame you can't include Formula Truck 2013 into you know GameStop Extreme but it's a very good title on its own nonetheless and I kind of forgotten that was a very good title as I rarely played this game in a few months I've owned it I only played it to show that Rio Oval video, to record for this, and maybe one other time. I've barely played this game. It's all been GameStop Kart Stream, you know, with the regular updates, with the mods such as Kart Extreme. You know, a fantastic package there in GameStop Kart Stream. We have so much content that, yeah, I just kind of forgot about this title. But I thought, hop on with the new update, with this new Salvador track, and I had just forgotten how much fun these trucks to drive. They're one of my favourite things to drive in all of sim. Racing, of course, I was terrible practicing for this race. I was going all over the place. I was driving it like a kind of V8 stock car in game stock car. It's shame I've forgotten that you know, with the cab, you are in a higher place basically. And the spatial awareness is very different. You know, driving on the left hand side, you've got lots of space on this right hand side that I've got to be careful of, especially around here with the walls. And you know, I've got to be careful of the braking distances and braking a bit earlier because you've got so much weight transfer in the corners with these vehicles. They're fantastic challenging these vehicles to drive especially around a place like this with so much you know not much room around here you've got to be very careful you, you've got to be on the ball basically on every corner around here and you know the challenge of these trucks just to put the power down as you see I'm not 
I'm like hacksawing at the steering wheel, putting the ta power down, and in the braking zones, it is, it is a real challenge driving these. And in the braking zones, especially, is probably the most important things in these trucks because you're talking about the weight transfer here. You know, you've got to brake early, you only have like brakes to stop these. It would be better if they had a parachute to help stop these quicker. And you've got to you got so much rate transfer all the way on the front of the cab and not much rate behind so you've got this rate transfer going all the way forward so if you outbreak yourself it's easy to lock up or just in this case just go into a wall so yeah you've got to be very careful with the rate transfer then putting on the power as i said he's got fantastic you know torque these vehicles so if you put too much power down with all the weight on the front you'll just be a spinning top you can't actually save it you know you'll just be going round and round so yeah it's just fantastic driving these vehicles fantastic challenge and maybe I will show this game more regularly as this game gets updated more regularly on Steam and it's hard to believe that you know this game didn't receive an update in the last I believe six months of last year by Reza they kind of neglected it, we kind of neglected it as well due to the offerings from Gamestop card stream but hopefully I'll be playing it more and showing it more and, and hopefully you enjoyed the last couple of laps of this race as I try and fight for first place now even though we're running out of time so out for watching and i will be back with yeah gamestop cart stream actually but yeah hopefully i'll show this a bit more along with gamestop cart stream so it's out for watching and i will see you then